Clean up after the party. <laughs> Thursday night's the big party. <laughs> you clean up after the party. <laughs> right, Glenn, you coming Thursday night? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's every night, isn't it?
First and foremost, just, get it over. just make them just make them have to hit another ball. That's the most important thing. You never know. You could hit a terrible ball, and you see, you get lucky. Somebody hits one out. Or one more ball. That's my main philosophy. Just get one more back. Make them play another shot. It seems like a hopeless point. You're on the defense. You might get one. You might get a miss. I do it all the time. I miss overheads. You saw. <laughs> well, if you get bad, yeah, if you get frustrated, it can happen, and they get frustrated. Sometimes well, when you do that, they lose their mojo. When it's like, oh, they're stubborn, they're not like letting you have. It. They want you to give up, you know. They want you to. Right, because they have the offensive. They're hitting the hard. Right. It's, it's more of a, it's a morale pressure when they have the yeah. offensive, and then you force them to hit three, four, five more balls, and then you miss one. You know, you yeah. lose the momentum, and then all of a sudden it shifts to them. It's like if you keep playing all those balls, and you're patient instead of trying to hit winners. I mean, granted, if you feel like, you know, you have a pretty big advantage lead, and it's, it's your serve, so you're not going to lose points on a big shot. I don't know. Sometimes I like to just go for a line if I can, if I have a good opportunity. Right, right. Like, like, you, like uh, Kathy was saying, on an approach shot, you know, I'll try and hit my line shot, force them to hit something back, and I can just, bam, <laughs> yeah, put it away. That's true. Tough, you know, this game isn't about winning. No. It's about, you know, playing smart, patient, forcing the mistake.
Jonathan has played has actually collapsed. But I've never run over anybody's class. Fell on a plane as a little kid. Right? You know, so they gave CPR? Yeah, so one of the, 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 one of the girls in the CPR, we had a doctor saying, yes, we also, they, so they indicated for 10 minutes. You know, Before the EMTs came here? Yeah. Wow. And then the, then the, the, the uh, in the phone wasn't working with the pain for the phone for like the last two years. You know, in the in the school area, and we took it up for nine one. And it's just like a direct nine one one call. Stop. We were running around yeah. looking for like phones. Anyway, the guy got in, and they 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 shocked him twice. They didn't have an AED. No, we didn't. Anyway, so we were in the vent ventricle fibrillation, and so they shocked him a couple of times. It didn't happen. Nothing happened. So they took him to the aid wagon. Shocked him two more times, and he got out of it, and they rushed him straight into um, uh, surgery. Yeah, surgery, and they found out that he had uh, he was a coronary artery. Was there three of them, I think, and one was blocked. And then the other two are seventy-five percent. The doctor said, had it not been the fact that you know he had such a good uh, heart rate and such a good heart rate and such a good heart rate and such a good heart rate
Dust and rocks and other things. We need balls again. And balls too, yeah, we definitely. Not those terrible. Those yellow ones. To be so cheap, yeah, there's a reason. It's worth it to pay a little more to get the better ones, I think. Yeah, I got the worst. But they last a pretty good time, and they're like the ones that you would use in a tournament, so it's good to practice. You're going to actually play. No way. Hey, Linda. She's not bad at 4 or 5. She's not, not quite a bad But she's also very new to the game. Too. Yeah, that's what I mean. Surprising me that she's already like an ambassador. Well, she's just anyone to be an ambassador. Right. You fly and they tell you. I don't know, to an extent, yeah, but like, I don't know. I'm like, I talk to a lot of, and I play with a lot of really good pickleball players in this country, and I didn't. Dude, I just went to tournaments and started shaking hands with people. Just introduce yourself. Right, this is like a nice private thing. reality or if that's just the same. Yeah.
Nick want to play? No, they're waiting. They're waiting. Oh, they don't want to play with us. We're just
Doing, Got mister? It. That's, that's, where was my part? I don't know. He's been preaching to everybody else.